How far can doping control cross borders of personal freedom and privacy? The lines between personal privacy versus protection of clean sport. Imagine a life where you have to be vigilant about every little thing. You have to be careful about what you eat. Your food or dietary supplement may contain residues of prohibited substances that can cause a positive test. You don't let your water bottle out of your sight. You either have to check every ingredient in the medication you take for a cold or not take it at all, just to be on the safe side. You are an elite athlete subject to doping control. You have to pee in a cup in front of a doping control officer who will be watching you. You have to log your whereabouts for every single day three months in advance so that doping control officers know where to find you for a 60 minute out of competition test. On Christmas day, on your birthday, on holiday, any day, any time. Even with the best testing, it takes a long time to prove and sanction an athlete for doping use. Of course, a positive test has consequences for the athletes who are caught. They're stripped of their medals, records and potential sponsors. But it also has an impact on athletes who have not made the podium because someone ahead of them doped. Getting justice years after the event is not the same. One athlete that I know very well had the whole course of her life altered because of the doping of one of her competitors. She finished fourth in Olympic Games and one of the athletes ahead of her was then later convicted of using performance enhancing drugs. So clearly she lost out on the medal, but also the opportunities that would have followed were she to have won that medal, the media opportunities, the sponsorship opportunities, the status, the fame and the money. Um, and she's not an isolated case. There are several athletes that I know who have gone through similar things and you don't hear very much about them. You hear about the, dope, the doped athlete, but you don't hear about the consequences of that doping on the athletes that finish behind those athletes. Out of competition testing places a burden on all athletes. How many of us are able to tell where we will be in three months time or log a guaranteed 60 minute time slot for every day and remember to keep it up to date? In my experience, all athletes are happy to undergo the intrusive process of doping control as long as they feel that those rules are being equally applied to all of their competitors and that the rules are working and achieving the goal of catching drug cheats in sport. Where do you draw the line on what's fair and what isn't when it comes to testing? <laughs>